Okay, for City Council um, at large, Ben Norton is not here. Ronnie Pierce. Okay, how are you, everybody? I'm Ronnie Pierce, and uh, I'm currently campaigning for that large seat for the Valdosta City Council. Um, just a little short history on myself. Uh, I, came, I came to Valdosta about 10 years ago. I'm originally from Atlanta. Um, I finished uh, Clark Atlanta University in 1971, some years ago. I uh, went to work for a social service agency in Atlanta. I later decided, after working on that job for 10 years or better, I decided to pursue a career in, in aviation. I quit that job and went back to school to, to acquire my commercial pilot's license. So I am a commercial instrument rated airline pilot, and uh, I did that job for quite some time. Um, and in August of 1981, President Reagan decided to fire all the air traffic controllers. At that point in time, they were looking for people to, to, to fill those jobs. Uh, because I had an aviation degree, because I was a pilot, uh, because of my skin complexion, it helped me, okay? Uh, I went to work for the Everett Traffic Control Center in Hampton, Georgia. And the Everett Traffic Control Center controls all of the airline traffic in the southern part of the country. They have eight Everett Traffic Control Centers throughout the, the country. I went to work for the uh, Everett Traffic Control Center for about eight years. After that, I transferred to the uh, Hartsville International Airport as an air traffic control assistant, which was a very satisfying job. I was still flying. Uh, in between that, I started working for an organization called the Nine Negro Avenue Flying Corporation, where we took high school students who were at risk, and we actually trained those kids in aviation careers. That was a tremendous success, because we had high school kids who were dropping out of school who had no idea about aviation, about aviation careers, about being a pilot, about being a mechanic. And we inspired these kids to seek these kind of jobs. Uh, we actually hired about uh, 50 who were almost dropout kids to, to train those kids to be air traffic controllers and they were making seven, eighty thousand dollars and they were almost high school dropouts. Um, I've never campaigned for an office before in my life. I, I decided to campaign for that large city because I believe that the Valdosta uh, requires and needs a, a different voice in the community. I fully support basically everything that everyone has said. I fully believe that we need transportation. I'm not sure exactly how to do it. Uh, I'm not sure how we're going to pay for it. But one thing I don't want to do is to increase property tax. But I feel confident that it is a way to do it without increasing the property taxes. Uh, if I am elected, I would be a freshman uh, council, council person with no experience at all. Uh, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to give you a transportation system. I'm not going to promise you that I'm going to give you jobs. Because the first year or so will be uh, an orientation period for me. Just trying to find out who I am and, and, and how this whole system works. But I can assure you that I have the qualifications and I have the intelligence to listen and to learn and to, to listen to what the voters in the entire district, the entire city are saying to me. Um, I believe that crime is an issue. Uh, I don't believe that any one person or any city council can stop crime. The police can't be everywhere. The city council can't be everywhere. But I do believe as a community, if we all work together, we can have a positive effect on, on reducing the crime throughout the whole city. Um, I can end by just saying a vote for me is a voice for you. Thank you very much. <laughs>